Hi everyone, this is Chetan Nayak. This video is a quick demonstration of the fallback profile strategy within Brute Retail version 1.7. To demonstrate this feature, we will require two listeners. The first li listener will contain the primary profile and the secondary listener will contain the secondary profile. Now, unlike rotational host where you have multiple set of host but a single profile, in case of fallback strategies, you can have multiple a variety of profiles as well because a single profile communicating to multiple rotational hosts can itself be a little suspicious on the network front. So we will start by creating two listeners. The first one that we will be using would be our DNS over HTTPS because this will act as our fallback profile in case our HTTP profile fails. This DNS over HTTPS uh, profile uses DNS.google as its DNS resolver. Uh, meanwhile, communicating with dns1.divisionlabs.com via dns.google. We have our primary command and control, which is our HTTP listener, and it uses fallback profile as DOHC2, and the counter is set to 3, which means after 3 failed attempts multiplied by whatever the sleep and jitter time would be, it will automatically switch back to our command and control of DNS over HTTPS. It's currently hosted on my domain evasionlabs.com, which is over AWS. So we'll quickly load these listeners up. I'll load the backup profile first because I will need to embed that within my HTTP profile. So I will go to doh.json. It's loaded. I'll go to add HTTP listener, load JSON profile, and I will load my HTTP JSON as well. Perfect. So as you can see, both the listeners are up and running. I'll create a HTTP listener, sorry, HTTP payload. Make note that whenever I create a payload, since this now contains the fallback, fallback profile as DNS over HTTPS, whenever this fails, it will automatically switch to DNS over HTTPS itself. We'll convert this shell code to an executable using our shell code that we have and now we will execute this payload over here let's see if we get a connection back perfect so now we will since our primary payload is communicating back with us as we can see to simulate or to see if our fallback profile works, we'll simply shut down our HTTP listener that we have. So we should automatically see it switching back to our DNS over HTTPS profile. I'll shut down my listener, my HTTP listener. And after a few minutes, it should automatically switch back. Make note that there is no new payload being executed. It is just the same payload communicating to our fallback listener itself. So no new memory allocations, no new process creation. It's all happening within the same payload itself in the same process. And also you will see another HTTP, another listener name or your fallback listener name over here once it starts. You can also enable DLS over HTTPS logs if you want to see the logs over here about the chunks of metadata that you might receive for your DNS payload. And you can see we have our communication back with our payload and our fallback profile has successfully worked out.